let you know. Tomorrow is election day, and there's been so much news surrounding the midterms that you might have had trouble keeping up with it all. So, in case you missed a single thing that happened in the lead up to 2018's midterm elections, let me break it down for you real quick. We've had two years of Trump, but it feels more like 10. Does anyone feel they've been made great again? Both chambers of Congress are currently red, though Democrats hope for a blue wave to spread. Every seat in the House will be up for grabs. I know someone in Russia who's keeping close tabs. Now, midterm elections are often dismissed, like other Hemsworths when stood next to Chris. In 2018, the stakes couldn't be higher. When ice caps are melting and forests are on fire, whether you're right or left, we're in the same boat. No matter who you are, just get out and vote. Yeah! A record number of women are running this year. They're sick and tired of men who cry about beer. The Democratic field has historical firsts. Republicans could stand to be more diverse. Kanye West met with Trump. Their play date went well. Bonded over their clothes, both triple XL. Yeezy later recanted and said he was duped. Don't know about you, but I'm scoopity pooped. But the biggest surprise in the fight against Trump was the massive Taylor Swift Instagram bump. Migrant caravans are Trump's latest distraction, sending troops to the border taking swift racist action from anti-immigrant lies to attacks on the press and Georgia's attempts to voter suppress. You can choose any other day of the year to be lazy. So pause Red Dead Redemption and go vote like crazy. No! <laughs> is neck and neck with Ted Cruz, though as a liberal in Texas, he'll probably lose. Beto's campaign raised over 70 mil, while Cruz just confessed to Zodiac kills. Paul Ryan's also set to retire. Mitch McConnell's still a liar. Lindsey Graham whined. Nikki Haley resigned. Mitt Romney is back. Scott Walker's a quack. If your elected officials are not what you expect, make like Ariana and say thank you next. No! <laughs> If nightmares from 2016 still linger, don't let this election slip through your fingers. If you care at all about your friend's health or you don't think the riches need even more wealth, if you know all religions deserve equal respect and the immigrant kids don't deserve our neglect, if travel bans and hate speech make you feel sick or you think that Ted Cruz is just kind of a dick, please keep marching in the streets. Don't give in to petty tweets. Ignore the non-stop TV ads with stock footage of angry dads. Vote yes on 12 and no on 8. Vote yes on love and no on hate. And at Thanksgiving dinner, while your family's bicker, you can sigh in relief. You earned that I voted stick up. Yeah. We'll be right back with Aaron Taylor Johnson and Richard Madden, everybody.